Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about origin of mammals. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So there are different theories regarding origin of mammals. Uh, we will talk about them one by one. So the first theory is ancestry through amphibia. This theory was stated by T. H. Huxley in 1880. According to this theory, it is stated that mammals arose from amphibia. So what are the evidence of this theory? So the first evidence is the presence of two occipital condyles in the skull of both amphibia and mammal. I hope you know what are occipital condyles. If you don't know, I am stating here briefly. So basically occipital condyles are two rounded knobs like that. At the base of the skull. So suppose this is the skull and here you have two rounded knobs. And these two knobs articulate with the first vertebra. So suppose this is first vertebra, this is second vertebra. So these two occipital condyles articulate with this first vertebra and these are present at the base of the skull. So this is found in amphibia as well as mammal. So it was the first evidence. Then second evidence was the presence of left aortic arch in mammals. Okay, so what is aortic arch? So aortic arch is the top part of, it is the top part of main artery. Main artery that is carrying blood away from heart. Now amphibians have both left and right arches. Let me write it here. Amphibians have both left and right arches which become reduced to one that is only left in mammals. So this was the second evidence. But this theory was rejected. So why this theory was rejected? Okay. First, in amphibia, occipital condyles are derived from X occipitals. In mammals, occipital condyles are derived from bassi occipitals. So, X occipitals are actually bone on each side of foramen magnum of skull but basi occipitals are the bones in front of foramen magnum so this is the difference between these two and the next reason of rejection was they have different modes of life that we know right Amphibians have different mode of life and mammals have different mode of life. Next theory was ancestry through reptilia. So it was stated that mammals arose from reptiles. What are the evidences? Monotremes was the primitive mammals so these monotremes and living reptiles have some close resemblances in their anatomical features. Both have some similar anatomical features. Okay. Next, ancestral mammal like reptiles. So the statement was mammals arose from therapsids. Therapsids are mammal like reptiles 
ओके सो थेरापसिक्स हैव सम मैमिलियन कैरेक्टर्स फर्स्ट प्रेजेंस ऑफ टू ऑक्सीपिटल कंडाइल्स इन द स्कल सेकेंड इट हैड वेल डेवलप्ड सेकेंडरी पैलेट which separates the nasal passage from the mouth cavity so what is secondary palate secondary palate is the bony plate so it separates the nasal passage from the mouth cavity it was well developed in therapsids third heterodont dentition with teeth embedded in the sockets so we know what is heterodont dentition heterodont dentition means different types of teeth are present there like incisor canine molar etc these are found in therapsids and the teeth embedded in sockets so if this is the jaw this is the jaw it has some socket like that and teeth are embedded here like this okay fourth the dentary of lower jaw is greatly enlarged and other reptilian bones of the lower jaw reduced it was fourth reason fifth the number of phalanges in the digits are reduced to two in thumb and three in all others so phalanges are like digital bones right these are digital bones so their number are reduced to 2 in thumb and 3 in all others next upright mammalian limbs are capable of generating speed they had upright mammalian limbs these were used to increase their speed and one more feature they had sacrum is elongated so sacrum is the bone that is located at the base of lumbar vertebrae and it is connected to pelvis so it was elongated in them so these are different evidences and the last theory was the first true mammals so the first true mammals were very tiny creatures they were not very large one they were tiny creatures and they were nocturnal thus they could avoid direct competition with the diurnal reptiles so this is all about the origin of mammals hope you understood the lecture thank you